Hey monsters, and welcome to the first gameplay on this channel. My name is Ghosted Flesh, um, when I play games it is, and we're playing Monster Prom today. So I've been waiting for this game to come out for like a month now, um, and it's finally here, and I'm super excited to play, and if you don't know about the game, um, I'll have like all the links below to like their Twitter, um, to where you can get the game for yourself. It's on Steam, and I believe it's about 10.79, I think it was. Um, and yeah, I'm so excited to play, so let's get started. Voice introductions, yay or nay? Awesome voice effects. Okay, so there's actually a lot of YouTubers um, who play voices in here. There's Cryotic, there's Aaron, there's Nathan. Um, I think that's all I can remember for now, but there's a bunch and I'm so excited for it. Let's go. So yeah, we're gonna be uh, doing this solo style. So there's only one of us. Um, oh, short game or full game. I didn't know it was, this is still kind of short. I didn't know it was that short, but let's play the full game. Ah, spooky high school, the sweetest years of our lives. Back then we were so young and unafraid. Sometimes reckless, sometimes brilliant, sometimes just stupid, but always willing to live life to the fullest. We were on a wild journey to discover who we really were. So choose player one, who are you? Uh, let's be this dead girl, cause uh, I'm dead inside, obviously. Who are you really? Blue? Vicky or custom name. Let's do custom name and we're gonna do flesh. That's gonna be my name Which is kind of funny because she's dead. So she may be her flesh is not the freshest But I like that. Okay, sweet And we had yet to experience its ultimate challenge the monster prom so quick little fact actually I never went to prom I didn't go to a normal high school. Well, I did but I didn't finish high school um, normally, so I never went to prom, so this will be my first time going to prom in a game. Cool. Um, I remember it clearly. Three weeks were left, and as we fantasized about our dream prom dates, we were all scrambling to catch the attention of one of our six most charismatic classmates. Huzzah! Miranda Vanderbilt, 19, a sweet mermaid princess who was as cute as she was genocidal. Good! Damien LeVay, 21, and this is Nathan, I believe. Nathan Sharp, I love him. Um, so I'm probably gonna get with this dude, but we'll see. A fearless demon with a taste for destruction and a love of fire. <laughs> Scott Howell, 21, this is Aaron um, from the Game Grumps. A werewolf athlete who compensated for his rather small brain with a stupidly huge heart. <sighs> Liam D. Leoncourt. I believe this is, um, Cry, I want to say. I'm not 100%, but I think so. Um, he's like 400 years old, I guess. A hipster vampire whose standoffish demeanor hid that he was a truly lovable, uh, that he was truly a lovable dork. Holly Geist, 22, maybe? A party ghost with an insa insatiable hunger for all the wrong things. And what? Vera Oberlin. Ooh, I like that voice. What? I, I should be a voice actor. Maybe. Maybe not. 23. A mean self-made Gorgon with a merciless sense of business. Okay. It was clear it had to be one of them. But who? We only had three weeks to choose our prom date, and even more daunting, we only had three weeks to woo them and conquer their heart. But as I already said, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. Welcome to Monster Prom's stupidest pop quiz ever. Okay, cool, cool. All minds are rotten, but they are rotten in so many different ways. Worry no more, we're now using our PhD and BS to diagnose which kind of deviant sicko you are. Monster Prom's stupidest pop quiz ever We'll throw a bunch of absurd questions at you and turn your answers into your character's stats. This way, each of you will start by having stats that better reflect your true selves. Let's start! Alright, so the first question in the quiz 
The coolest reality show would be... Um... Hmm. Um, I, I like... I, I don't know. I don't really like it, any of these that much. Um, but we'll go with the last one. So 12 experts on the various arts of seduction live in a house where they must face a common challenge. Seducing a potato into marriage. Somehow. So charming. <laughs> You built a 100-foot statue commemorating an event so that in 1,000 years, archaeologists can learn something about the people over time. What does the statue represent? Oh gosh. Probably this one? Yeah, I, I think this one definitely. Um, that mind-blowing twist in your favorite TV show that clearly changed the life of everyone forever. Unlike all that boring stuff they show on the news. So creative. <laughs> What's the sexiest type of knowledge a lover can have? All right, um... Definitely, I would say obscure 90s movie trivia, not 80s. Um, but I think this is what is matching us up with our, you know, our zings. Uh, I think you're my zing, right, Damien? So uh, let's put how to set stuff on fire because I'm I'm trying to play to win Damien's heart, all right? Let's go. All right, this music is pretty cool. So where are we going to go? We can go to the auditorium, we can go to class, the library, Outdoors, gym, or the bathrooms. Um, I'm kind of a nerd. Let's go to class. This is so cute. This art is very cute. Um, that day you listen to your elders and learn valuable lessons. All right. Sometimes after all the monster nonsense and the dating gimmicks, you forget that attending class is supposed to be the primary activity at this high school. You gain plus two smarts. Oh, look, this is like my, uh... This is like my uh, stats, so I'm I'm pretty smart. Um, I'm pretty creative. I have a lot of charm, which is not true, uh, and I have about as much money as probably any other high school student. You notice Scott and Damien waving their phones in each other's faces and decide to take a look. My two favorite dudes. Um, as you get closer, you realize they're discussing Pokemon's Go, the mobile game based on the hit t television show Pocket Humans. Awesome, bro. Whoa, you've got a Walter Jacobs? Those are so rare. You bet your butt I do. And check it out, his fiscal responsibility stat is 11. He's a freaking beast at doing his taxes. So I didn't realize there was going to be so much cussing in here. I'm not going to cuss. I don't cuss. Um, but it's there. Alright. Okay. I heard he's lactose intolerant though. <laughs> yeah, I feed him nothing but cheese pizza to mess with him. He hates it. That's not very nice. I'm super nice to my Leslie Dunbar. Frick you, you've got a Leslie Dunbar, the queen of insurance liability management? What? What is this game? Yeah, I had to trade to Mindy Babcocks and Jared Fogel to get her, but it was so worth it. That's nothing. You've got a Pokemon so rare it'll send them both into shock. You whip out your phone and show them your Winslow Jibs, fiscal responsibility, 14, armor class 20, loving owner of a speedboat and several dogs, scabs rang tacker, sex murderer. Oh, jeez, the choices. The, fir the first one, he loves dogs, right? He's a dog. This one's kind of funny. We'll go with the second one. Whoa, I've never ever seen that before. Don't be fooled by the cool character points. Don't be fooled by the cool character portrait, Scott. Look at the stats. Impulse control 3. Work ethic 1.8. Fiscal responsibility minus 5. Oh no, Damien didn't like that. <laughs> this Pokemon may be rare, but he's garbage. A Pokemon can't just go through life wrecking stuff and go doing whatever he feels like. He's got to have self-control. He's got to have ambition. He's got to have a diversified stock portfolio. So Damien seems like very smart, which is like, mm, I love it. Get this murder hobo out of my face. The irony of Damien's statements is apparently lost on him. 
but the real loss is yours. You lose minus two smarts and minus one charm. So we're off to a bad start, guys, but we we can redeem ourselves. Let's go. So who am I gonna sit next to? Let's I wanna sit here with the cool kids and the hotties. But I feel like this is more my style over here. Ooh, I'm I'm gonna be bold. I'm gonna be bold and sit next to Damien. You puff yourself up, hoping to look as big and tough and sporty as possible, as you take your seat next to the wolf pack. Hey you, you know what it means that you took a seat at the wolf pack's table? Well, it probably means that you don't care that much about defining which love interest you're pursuing and or that table was already taken. It means you're one of us. Okay, one of us, one of us. Don't get us wrong, the second lunch is over. We 100% go back to hating you because you're weak and not at all our level bra. But for now, you might as well enjoy living your best werewolf life to the max. I like this guy. Sometimes we like to stick with our... Sometimes we like to stick with just classic blankety hating all other monsters. But other days, we like to be aggressively inclusive. And you caught us on an aggressively inclusive day. Yeah, bro. So what classic werewolf activity would you like to do in these brief glorious moments in which you get to be part of the T-E-A-M-E -E team? Hmm, correcting their spelling of team probably isn't a classic werewolf activity. Better go with something more like howling at the moon. Practicing Aikbana, the ancient Japanese art of floral arrangements, just super wolfy. Okay, so I don't think that being uh, funny is gonna get me anywhere, because the first choice was pretty funny, and that got me minus two smarts. So we're gonna stick stick with the basic um, Howling at the Moon. We love Howling at the Moon, but flirting with the moon is even better. Let's go outside and flirt with the moon right now. You head outside where the moon is visible in broad daylight because why the frick not? You kick things off telling the moon that you're sorry to bother her, but you just wanted to say how much you appreciate the way she controls the tide so gracefully. Then the wolf pack steps up and continues in the charming yet respectful tone you set. Hey moon, is there a mirror in your pocket? Because I can see myself in your pants. Oh well, never mind then. Hey, Moon, are you an astronaut because your butt is out of this world and I can see my myself in that too? Actually, so are you an astronaut with a mirror in your spacesuit? Suddenly, a piece of paper wafts down from the sky. It appears to be a letter, and it reads, Dear Flesh, thank you for respecting my boundaries and not using a crude opening line before we've even gotten to know each other. I'm very flattered and appreciative. Thank you again, the moon. Huh, I guess maybe it's a good idea to be respectful to women and treat them as people, even when sometimes they're the moon and not people. Yeah, being respectful to women is the best. Let's get, s okay. By being considerate and respectful, oh. And with that, they're off. You hear laughter and you look over to see Vera and Polly deep in conversation. A letter from the moon. Classic. Can't believe they fell for it. The only thing better than a good prank at someone else's expense is a prank that also teaches valuable lessons about being slightly less douchey. Ah, uh, well, that makes way more sense than the moon actually writing a letter, but you still gain plus four charm for not being disgusting. Cool, we made it through lunch. I feel like we did good. Let's continue to the evening. Let's go! Uh, let's go. So there's this cat here in the outdoors. Should should we go talk to I don't want to be outdoors at night. No, let's go to the library and do some studying. Congratulations, you have been chosen. What you have what? You have been chosen when big. All you need to do is fill out a very quick survey and you will win winner of hundreds of prizes, including real cash. Okay. That day you spend some time on the library's PCs sending malicious spam emails in the hopes of stealing other people's money. It doesn't sound very nice, but who's really the one to blame if they respond to such a blatant scam? 
You lose minus 10 karma. I didn't even- that wasn't even my choice though. Which isn't a stat in this game, so who cares? And you gain plus two money. Alright, cool. Afterwards, you see Polly and Damien eating some delicious looking cookies. Hiya. Hey, would you like to buy a cookie to benefit the Agents of Chaos? I'm trying to get my Destructive Capitalism badge. All proceeds go directly to the Uprising of Chaos over and over order, and it's tax deductible. As I was setting fire to a nursery home the other day, I heard a voice echo so loudly in my head that my teeth rattled. It told me of an ancient order as it was described to me in thousands of voices. Blood trickled from my eyes, from my ears. And then the voices gave me a badge for harassment of the elderly. Sounds good, Damien. And I earned my first badge for being unable and unwilling to stop partying. My goal is to get enough badges to make a bikini out of them, and then wear it and nothing else everywhere forever. My goal is to get enough badges that Polly makes a bikini out of them and wears it and nothing else everywhere forever. I wonder what badge we should go for next, and what hijinks we can get into to earn it. Uh, let's, let's do the first one, because I don't want to replace the water in a school with swarms of mosquitoes. That's horrible. You know what's crazy and chaotic? Being single and partying forever destroy the institution of marriage. They don't like any- okay guys, I'm horrible at dating. Are you kidding me? Destroy the institution of marriage? With no marriage, there would be no weddings. Do you understand what weddings represent to me? Commitment, fidelity, sentimentality? Because more of that so sounds like what you- open bars. There it is. Why would I have actively fight to give myself less opportunities to get free alcohol? Why didn't you immediately associate the joining of two people in love with booze, you fool? Minus two fun and minus one smarts. I'm gonna lose this game, you guys. Oh no. Let's go. Alright, so being smart isn't working out for us. So maybe let's hit the bathrooms. I think I can hang out with some of the girls, see what hijinks we can get into. That day you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. Death overrated. What is all this? What is this? What am I doing? I guess some people just want to watch the world burn by skipping class and hanging out in the bathrooms. You give plus zero, and uh, but you gain plus two boldness. Later, you, Polly, and Damien are practicing batting, which is stealing bats and hiding them in people's lockers. But all that well-intentioned fun and games is interrupted by a blinding flash of light. We're here to save Whoa. the day. There you are, exactly the monsters we wanted to see. Well, needed, not wanted. Ugh, these guys again, they never want to do anything fun. We're not trying to ruin your fun, we're just trying to save your world. Univertica is planning an attack. Ugh, ugh, so boring, ugh. Why am I even subjecting my ears to this BS? I'm going back to hell. Yes, that's what we need. Our partner on this mission, Rabaru, died right after recovering Univertica's weakness. We need someone to speak to her spirit. Not it. Not it, ah. Uh, I said it almost at the same time. But I'm allergic to helping. This is a serious health issue. But I'm prettier, so I shouldn't have to do anything ever. Guys, seriously, the world will end if you don't want to help us. You, we don't care who, but one of you needs to step up. Whatever, just let the world end already. Then I won't have to take my midterms. I'm with Polly on this one. Midterms suck. Helping people sucks. Good luck with whatever you said your problem was. Well, the problem is the world ending. You're pretty sure no one wants that. But you don't really want to help either. Time to impress one of your classmates by forcing the other one to go help. What's the matter, Damien? Are you scared? Are you a spicy little red baby? Psst, you're welcome, Polly. You know, Damien, Polly, saving the world is a great way to get free drugs and alcohol. Yo, Damien, you owe me one. 
Um, let's go in favor of Damien and send Polly. Ugh, I already helped someone, like, just last century. That was it. This was all I'm obligated to do for my lifetime. Death time. But I'm with Polly on this, and frick you dude for trying to throw her under the bus? Yeah, frick you, being thrown under the bus is how I died? Wait, are you seriously turning against your fellow classmate instead of Univertica, destroyer of worlds? Because we could really use your anger if you channeled it. Why would I be mad at Univertica? Univertica isn't trying to get me to do boring stuff. Yeah, Univertica would probably prefer that we did nothing. So if you think about it, he's on our side. But he's not on your side. He wants to destroy the universe. You're in the universe. Just forget it. We'll find someone else to communicate with Rabaru. You guys are unbelievable. Jeez, I thought they'd never leave. And seriously, you're the worst for trying to sell me out. I hope Univertica does destroy the universe and you die. Oh god, every choice I make is just the worst. Of course, if the universe is destroyed, they die too. But they're too busy being put put out with you to care. You lose minus two charm and minus one boldness. Oh no, you guys. Okay. We're in uh, week two noon. Let's go. Okay, let's let Damien chill for a little bit. Let's leave him alone. Let's see what this cool cat's up to. Oh, this is a, a shop. Good old flesh. What's it gonna be today? A corpse? No, thank you. A motivational poster. So I have seven dollars. Um. Oh no. Oh no. This is an accent. Oh, I thought it was like a cool mixtape. A blanket with two holes. Literally just a white blanket with two eye holes in it. You'd have to be an idiot to mistake this for a ghost costume, but most of our classmates are idiots. Y let's uh, let's save our money. Let's save it. Wait, what's this? You get that the whole point of running a business like this is to sell stuff to people, right? I think you're missing the point, sweetheart. Well, at least we didn't get any minus any more minuses. Let's go. Um, so we're in week two evening. Let's check out the auditorium. That day while rehearsing for the class play, it's as though the muses themselves have descended to give you Oh, okay. Your performance is intense and inspiring. It will be remembered for generations, which is pretty rad by high school play standards. You gain plus two creativity. You go up to the light booth to see how Polly and Damien are doing. Lame. Why is it always Polly and Damien? That's so weird. That's how we're doing. If I'd known they'd stick me up here just because I missed auditions to go to that monster truck rally, I still would have gone to that monster truck rally, but I would have gotten in like nine more fights while I was there. Why did I have to be on so many cool drugs during casting? I thought the lights were butterflies and I just wanted to play with them. It's all in the past now. As long as we're here, I guess we better make the best of it. By messing with Liam. But he's so hard to mess with. He's like really good at acting. Come on, between the three of us, I'm sure there's something we can do to make him forget his lines. We write the whole play, but just Liam's lines. Rocket launcher. Oh no, I don't want to choose wrong again, because I feel like it, if I choose wrong again, this is it. Um... I feel like they're rigged to maybe not like any response I give them. What do you guys think? I have no idea. This one seems like a lot of work. This one seems fun. Oh my god, see I told you. Oh yeah, duh. Thanks for reminding me about this rocket launcher I always carry around. Damien fires a rocket launcher just as Liam makes his entrance. It doesn't kill anybody because all the actors are undead, but they hate it anyway. As the smoke clears, Liam picks up the skull of one of the other actors and delivers a passionate monologue to it. The audience hails it as a bold avant-garde move. They can't stop cheering. Stupid audience, maybe I should hit them with the rocket. Damien, no. With our luck, they'd probably give Liam credit for that too. Well, I've got to fire this other rocket at someone. I already loaded it. You're pretty sure you know where this is going. You flee before it can go there. You lose minus two creativity and minus one charm. Okay, is anybody else sucking at this like I am? Because this is horrible. Let's go. 
All right, so we're going to end uh, this episode here, and um, I'll see you in the next one.